Hey pros, Crystal here from Private Label Hair Care Company. So in this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about how to get your product label printed for your new product. So here at Private Label Hair Care Company, we offer a wide range of wholesale, private label, or white label products. White label meaning the product comes to you already bottled and capped, already tested, already ready to go on the market. The only thing you have to do is to add your brand, your labeling, and your wording to your product. So at this point of the stage, or this stage of the process, you are probably ready to get your label printed. Now, I use a number of different printers, but this one in specific is the one that I find to be the most economically friendly. I also find them to be the easiest to use, and I also find them um, fast in delivery. So the company that I'm talking about, get ready, get your pen, get your paper, is Avery. So you've seen Avery in almost every store in the United States, no matter if it's the dollar store all the way up to the high-end stores. Avery also offers product label printing that is very durable, that is waterproof. Um, you can get it high gloss, you can get it metallic, you can get it matte. You can get it in what type of whatever type of paper or material you're looking for. But today we're gonna to talk about labeling for your hair care or beauty brand products and what really is required on that label in regards to um, material um, and in regards to sizing. So I'm gonna give you guys an example really quickly. This is our Elite Hair Repair and Restore Conditioner. Now, if you notice, it is in a beautiful bottle, which all of our private label products come in very nice bottles. Um, and you can customize whichever top you like for it. And then of course, it's coming from workable, already awesome product that is already being marketed. So it makes it even easier for you. But I want you guys to focus on this label. So if you guys see, the label has some beautiful metallics to it. It also has um, a nice sheen. And at the same time, this label is considered to be durable and waterproof. Now remember, beauty brand products are typically products that are either gonna be used in water, they're gonna be thrown around in your purse, they're gonna be in your suitcase. These are typically products that you are going to be utilizing during your beautifying process. So you wanna make sure that the material that you choose for your label is just as durable, but at the same time, remember, pretty sells. So you don't wanna have a cheap looking label. You wanna make sure that your label is sized right for your bottle, and you also wanna make sure that that label contains the right information. Of course, we will talk about what the label can contain or should contain um, briefly in this video, but for a more thorough or in-depth video, please see our channel where you'll be able to get that video on what your label should actually have on it. All right, so now we are at the phase of printing this label. And I'm gonna tell you guys that there's a huge difference between labels, okay? So I'm gonna grab one of our older products that had one of our older labels on it, okay? So if you guys look at these labels, there is a slight difference in the, the um, material of the label okay so this label has what we call chrome material okay and so does this label but if you guys notice this label has a lot of flat black in it right and this label has a lot more metallic in it but it does also have some flat in it okay so in the label world there are some terms that you definitely need to understand before you even go and attack this beast of a label, okay? And I'm gonna make it really simple for you. Now, by this point, you've already gotten your Private Label Hair Care Co. product. You have already decided what your label is gonna look like. You already got your design down packed, and now it's time for you to print your label for this product. So all of our shampoos and conditioners come in an eight ounce bottle of this size. We typically use the Cosmo Round Bullet Bottle. This is what you call a bullet bottle, okay? It's long and skinny, and it's considered Cosmo Round. Typically, when people see labels, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna fill up the entire bottle with the label. 
really that's not durable and it's actually not smart because there's parts of the bottle that are going to be touching certain things and there's also parts of the bottles that have curvature. So you wanna make sure that when you are dealing with a Cosmo round bullet bottle, that your label is no, um, I was gonna say longer, but no taller in height than about 4.75 inches, okay? But for the Private Label Hair Care Co. products, we recommend a 4.5 by five inch label, okay? So everything that we're talking about in regards to size is in inches. So we recommend 4.5 by five inch label. This is a 4.5 by five, okay? So 4.5 in height and in width, it is five inches, okay? So you wanna make sure that you are um, sizing your labels correctly, and that's very important. And the size of the label will need to be determined at the time of your design. I do not recommend asking your designer to give you any form of size, and then you go and stretch it out. Because anytime you stretch out a design, you're also stretching out that actual label, okay? So you're gonna have distorted features on the label and it's best to just make sure that your designer understands that your label needs to be dimension wise 4.5 by five inch, okay? They also need to understand that that label needs to have what we call bleed around the edges. Bleed is just an extra space or an extra portion of that design that has nothing on it, but it allows for when you bring it to the printer, you are able to play with your sizes so that you are not cutting off any of your wording on your label. So remember to make sure that your designer sizes your label accordingly and also leaves bleed. Your designer, if they are a true product label designer, will know exactly what you mean by bleed space, okay? So make sure you ask them for bleed space. All right. So the material on this bottle is a chrome material, right? So this is chrome paper. The reason why we used chrome paper is because if we decided to just use a glossy paper, you would not have this metallic finish on any of your words. So if you don't want any metallics on any of your words, then you can use a glossy waterproof film. Or if you want those metallics on some of the words or features on your label, then you will choose what we call chrome material, okay? So I'm gonna take you guys over to the Avery website and we are going to actually order a label so you can see the different features of how to order your label, what to do when you order your label so you can get this process done and it is successful. Let's go. So we are going to go ahead and start our label printing process. Now, if you have never used Avery before, now is definitely the time to go ahead and sign up for their coupons. That's another reason why um, I would recommend Avery because they always have some form of coupon. And when you are starting a business, your ultimate goal is to save, 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 and save as much as you can to build your brand and reinvest in your brand. Okay. So we are at the website avery.com, A-V-E-R-Y.com. Now there are other companies that you can use such as Uprinting. Um, there's so many other label companies, but the easiest that I found for beginners is Avery, okay? So first things first, when you get to Avery, um, I'm doing it from the mobile version for the sake of this video, but when you get to avery.com, the first thing they say is find your perfect label. So what we're going to do is we are not going to be doing blank labels. We are going to be doing custom printed labels, okay? Once you click custom printed labels, this is where you will have the options of the types of ways you want your labels printed. Now, if you are doing a very short run, short run means a small number of labels, then you can do what we call sheet labels. If you are doing anything above 250 labels, you can do what we call roll labels. And then if you want to be the one that has to individually stick one label at a time on a actual sticker, you can do sticker labels. But when we order labels, we order in, in rolls, okay? So the good thing about ordering in rolls is that as long as the label size is exactly the same, you can have multiple designs under that same quantity. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. So we're gonna go ahead and click roll labels. From here, it's gonna ask you what shape label you want to use. Typically for beauty brands, your label is more than likely going to be rectangle. 
especially for the private label hair care pro shampoos, conditioners and leave in conditioners. The great thing about those bottles is they all use the same label size. OK, so now we've gotten to the screen where we are now going to be formatting our labels. So we've already chosen that we're going to do roll labels. We're going to use the size in rectangle. And instead of fractions, I like to use decimals. OK, and the good thing about Avery is you can actually type it in what you're looking for. So the height that we are going to be doing is 4.5 by 5. OK, and then we're going to click here where it says custom size, no extra cost. And that is the size that we want. Here is where it's going to ask you if you want rounded or squared corners. It is your choice if you want it to be a sharp square or a round square. OK, typically for the shampoos and conditioners, we like to choose rounded square, which is a default. So we just leave it there. Here is where the meat and potatoes really happens in regards to your label and the um, film, which is very important. So I'm going to show you guys the different films that they have. They have white film, chrome film, matte white paper, glossy white paper, estate paper, silver metallic paper, removable white film, removable white paper, and then these new films they have now, which is rainbow holographic and crystal holographic. Now, these two new films at the bottom, the rainbow and the crystal, those are also options if you want it to have that holographic look, which meaning holographic is like a rainbow effect where you have your metallic colors. Me personally, for a product label, unless it's some funky collection that I'm doing, I typically don't use holographics. Our choice is going to normally be chrome film. Why? Because we want to have certain elements on the label pop out and be more metallic. Now, we don't recommend choosing any form of matte white paper. Whenever you see that word paper, that's exactly what you are getting, a paper material that is not waterproof. So the moment your client or your customer touches that paper with a wet hand or an oily hand, it is going to absorb that um, material or, or liquid that's on their hand. So you want to typically choose either a white film or chrome film, um, either even a holographic film or a um, crystal holographic film. Now, if you notice here, they also have removable white film on products. You typically do not use a removable white film. That is something that we just don't recommend um, because you don't want them to be able to remove the label. The label needs to be permanent on the bottle. So we're going to go ahead and choose a chrome film. Now for your finish, the finish is going to be just like how you'd have the finish on a wall. So a matte laminate means a flat finish. It's just very flat and paper like. Then they also have glossy laminate and then thermal transfer principle, principle glossy laminate. We are going to choose glossy laminate because we still want that glossy finish and that adds more durabil durability to your label. Now down here, you see where it says one design or multiple designs. If you're starting out, the typical quantity of labels that you want to order is no less than about 250 labels so that you can get that good price break. OK, so in this case, we're going to do three different labels right under the same quantity. So we're going to do our shampoo, our conditioner and our leave-in conditioner because all three of those labels carry the same label size. By this point, you guys, if you are starting a brand, you typically want to build your brand as a collection. And when we say a collection, you want to have a shampoo, a conditioner, a leave-in conditioner, a serum. That is how people like to purchase. They like to purchase in collections. They want to know that they have all the pieces to do with their beauty. Okay. So that's why we recommend always doing your brand in collections and not just one piece at a time. Most people don't just want to purchase a shampoo. They're going to ask you, where's the conditioner? Then they're going to ask you, where's your leave-in conditioner? So that's the great thing about Private Label Hair Care Co. We have all the pieces to the collection that you need. All right. So here, if you are knowing that you are going to be selling tons of product, then you can go ahead and start with that thousand quantity um, labels. Because guess what? At a thousand quantity and you have three labels printing under the same quantity, it'll run you about $437.
but for $437, your label is going to be 43 to 44 cents each label. Remember, your bottom line is very important here. And while I know you're building your brand, you want to maintain that your bottom line is low so that you can keep your profits high. But if you're just starting out, you're not ready to do a thousand labels, let's go ahead and bring the quantity down to 250 labels. The price is going to change drastically, but you're starting out and you will definitely have enough labels for you to do at least the next couple of months as you build your brand and not have to order labels over and over and over again. So we're going to update our quote and you see here it went down to $325 for 250 labels. Now, as I said, the price was going to go up, of course, but your label is going to cost you a dollar and 30 cents. Whereas if you went up to that, so let's say you went to 750 labels, that label now goes down to 53 cents and you're only spending about 50 to $80 more than you spent for 250 labels. So just keep that in mind. You buy what is in your budget. But for us, that is one mistake that was made on the elite hair care side when we first started out. We tried to buy in small runs and literally ate into our profits drastically. So this is why we want to teach our private labelers, such as yourself, how to keep your costs low. So for the sake of this video, we're going to choose 750 labels. Okay. So here is basically telling you that you're going to save more. Another great thing about Avery is free shipping is great. They always have free shipping. And even if you do a small run under your free shipping threshold, the shipping is like $3.95. So easy. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and hit start designing. Here is where you're going to upload your label. Now for your designer, I highly recommend having your designer give you your label in PDF or AI or PSD file. The reason why I recommend those three fi file types is if you choose to make any part of your label metallic, right? Meaning there's no underprinting on a certain portion of your label. In order for Avery to apply that metallic, they need to have a PDF, an AI, or a PSD file. These files can be edited for them to be able to do so. If you send them a PNG or a JPEG file, they cannot change that file around. So you tell your designer automatically you want that high um, resolution file, which is a PDF, AI, or PSD. All right, so here we're gonna choose our artwork. For the sake of this video, we're gonna use the same label for all three pieces. Um, so here you're gonna hit upload, choose your file. We're gonna go to choose file. Don't pay attention to my, my nephew. And then we're gonna choose our label. <laughs> all right, so it's gonna go ahead and upload your artwork. Once it uploads that artwork, you see it there, we're gonna hit next. You can name your design. And the good thing about Avery is you can save your design so that you don't have to go back and configure this design again. Now here, if you guys notice, our label is slightly undersized or oversized for the label that we're going to be printing. So if that happens and you can't get a hold of your designer and it's not a huge change, we can go ahead and edit it right here on the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck snap to edge. And then I'm going to also go to where it says scale art and I'm going to remove the lock ratio. Okay. The reason why I'm doing that is so that I can move the design around wherever I need to move it without it locking into the different areas. Okay. So here I'm going to go ahead and move my label. So in that red area is the safe zone, right? But I need to make sure that my width is slightly better. Let's see here. There we go. And then I need my height to be better as well. So that's the good thing about Avery. And another thing with Avery is they actually check your design. And if there's something that's small that they need to change, they will do it for you. So my design is now ready to go. It's within the safe lines. And then that blue line is the bleed line. This is another reason why I said have your designer put bleed. So if you ever have to make any of these changes, you're not cutting off any form of the actual design because you have bleed on the outside and you have that space to play with. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit finish. Okay. And once it's finished, it's going to go ahead and lock it in here. Now, if you notice over to the right, it says elite silky conditioner and the quantity that I'm printing is 250. 
You can change this quantity to whatever you want as long as all three quantities meet the 750 label. So I'm going to say I want to do 200 of these. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to upload my other labels. Now, for the sake of time, I'm not going to size these labels again. I'm just going to go ahead and accept them. But in your case, you do want to make sure that your labels are sized. I'm only doing this for demonstration purposes so that we are all on the same page. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and just accept it because I'm not actually going to print these labels. And then here you can change your, your label name, which your labels should already be named what they are. So we're going to make this elite silky shampoo. I'm only going to have for here, I'm going to have 275. Um, and then this one will be our conditioner. All right. Wait for it to upload really quickly. There we go. And then I'm going to have this be our conditioner, as we said. Go ahead and put that in, save that there. Uh oh, it's gonna move it there. I'm trying to close my little screen here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and let that upload. Okay, so we should now need, we need another 25 to equal the right place. So if you notice, it says total labels 750 of 750. That is what you wanna make sure that your number is right. If I had put 7,250 here, it's going to tell me that I'm still short labels. And if I want to update my quote to show that I'm only going to print that number. But if I do that, that could change my price drastically. So I'm going to make sure that my numbers are right wherever they need to be. And you can play with this number. You can do five of one design and 745 of the other design. It's your choice as long as it equals that 750. That's another reason why we recommend printing it on the roll rather than printing it um, on the sheet. If you print it on the sheet, per label can literally run you $3. So it's better to go ahead and get these labels on the roll because you're starting a brand and you're gonna use them anyway. You're gonna sell uh, 200 of them over time. If you're selling it in collections, then you need to sell it to 275 people. Well, you have enough to sell to 275 people without having to reorder rolls and your pricing gets too high. All right, so here is where it's talking about application. So there's hand applied labels and then there's machine applied labels. Machine applied labels can be anything from the basic label applicator, which is like a auto or semi-automatic to a full on machine run label um, system. But for your case, I'm more than certain at this point, you don't have a machine um, label applicator and you're probably placing them by hand because you're just now starting and that's okay. So we're going to put hand applied. Okay. Now here is a very important element when we are talking about um, the metallic finish on a label. So there is a thing that they call underprint. Okay. So underprint, and I'm going to show you guys where it says underprint help. When you have a metallic chrome film, okay, we're not going to talk about the clear film, so we're going to use the example at the bottom. When you don't have that white ink behind the label, this is something that they use in printing, then everything that's on there is going to be um, just like a flat chrome material, okay? That it's just going to be flat. So it's going to be a flat black. It's going to be a flat orange, a flat yellow, even though it still has that glossy sheen. But when you don't have underprinting, right? And you say, I don't want any underprinting or a UP also stands for underprinting behind any of my silver elements on my label. That means that the silver is now going to become metallic. Okay. So that is the easiest way to explain underprinting. So let's say you want the entire label to be metallic. You don't want anything to pop out. You don't want anything to stay, stay flat then you can say that you want no underprinting and that literally is going to make the entire label metallic. Okay. But that is with Chrome film, you guys. So make sure you have Chrome film. Now let's say you do want parts of the label to be flat and then you want other parts of the label to be metallic. So our label here is gold, black, and white. So for us, if we were going to metallicize this label, I feel like I just made that up, <laughs> metallicize this label, 
we would basically say that we don't want any underprinting behind any of the gold elements on this label. So that is going to make the gold an actual shiny metallic gold and everything else will be flat like the black words and the white background. We don't need any chrome for that. Those can stay regular. We just want those other elements to be nice, shiny and stick out. So here with Avery, it's actually really simple to do this down here where it says add a special request. This is where you're going to put your instructions of how you want them to print this label. So here we are going to put no underprinting behind all gold elements. Now, this can also um, be changed. It doesn't have to be the gold elements. Let's say you don't want any underprinting behind the reds. You don't want any underprinting behind the logo. You don't want any underprinting behind the ingredients. Be specific in this area. In this case, we're going to keep it very simple for the sake of this video. And we're going to say no underprinting behind all gold elements. So now everything that's on that label that is gold is going to be metallicized and stick out like a metallic on top of that flat color. All right. So once you've done that part, you come down here to the end and it says, congratulations, your order qualifies for free shipping. You're going to go ahead. This is where they try to tell you, oh, if you order some more, you're going to save some more. Well, once you grow this brand, you will be ordering a thousand labels at a time, uh, 25,000 labels at a time, 50,000 labels at a time. So most definitely, once you get there, you have to think ahead, okay? Once you know that you're getting to that point, start ordering more so you can save more on your bottom line. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hit add to cart. And we have officially finished customizing and ready to order our labels. So when you get here, you want to make sure that you just recheck everything. You want to make sure that your label size is right. You want to make sure that your material is chrome. Your finish is glossy. Your finish type, of course, is going to be a laminate because you want it to be durable and waterproof. Your white underprint, you're saying, yes, I do want white underprint because I have some elements that I don't want to be a metallic or a chrome standout. Your proof type. So proof type is basically saying how you want to see the example of how your label is going to be printed. If you are afraid and you don't understand, I can go ahead. I will go ahead and say that you want to get a printed proof, but that is going to extend your printing time because you have to wait for that proof to come to you in the mail and then you approve it with Avery. For us, we typically do electronic proofing because electronic proofing, you can basically see everything that they're going to metallicize. They will highlight it in red or highlight it in white. And then basically, you're just going to see a digital proof once Avery sends it to you. So the proof does not happen right away. They send it to you via email later on, usually within a day or two. At that point, if they had to fix anything, um, if they need you to fix anything, or maybe you didn't give them the right file for them to metallicize things, they will let you know all of this before you even print the label. OK, if something happens where it just that label is just not working out, you can tell them that you want a refund and you'll do it again later. Application method, you want to make sure that it is by hand or by machine, whichever one you're using. And then your quantity here is the same and how much you are going to pay. Now, if you're new to Avery, you can always find a coupon for 10 percent, 15 percent. You can even sometimes call them and ask them, hey, I'm placing my first order. Do you have any discount codes that you can offer me so that I can place my first order? And they will typically be OK with giving you a code, but it is on a case by case basis. Now down here, you're going to go ahead and if you had to pay shipping, then you can estimate your shipping. But in this case, because you're ordering it by the roll anyway, your shipping is free. Okay. But for the sake of this video, I want you guys to see something. Even though Avery offers free shipping, let's say you need to get these labels fast. Avery also offers a way for you to do priority or rush shipping. And if you guys can tell it's minimal in cost. So let's say you want to get it by the 28th. They'll tell you by what date. And Avery is a stickler on the dates, you guys. Even if they have to overnight it to you, they will to match that date. But they keep their shipping prices very low. And that's another thing that I like about Avery. You can do priority. You can do rush. Or you can do the free standard shipping. 
All right. So once you do that here, they're going to add your sales tax. They'll add any discount code that you have, and then you'll go ahead and check out and your labels have officially been ordered. Once you place your order within 24 to 48 business hours, you will get an email from Avery asking you to proof, um, approve the proof of your design. If you chose to do electronic proof, at that point, you'll make sure that everything is right with them. If you don't understand the proof, you can also call them and they will walk you through what exactly you are looking at to make sure that you are getting exactly what you want, especially because this is your first time doing it. After that, you guys, they let you know your label has been approved because you have to sign off that it's approved and your label is in printing. And then they let you know that your label has shipped and it's on its way to you. And you are officially done with the process of printing your labels. So I hope you guys understood exactly what I was saying. You got as much information from what I was talking about on how to order your labels. And then, of course, if you are new to this channel, go ahead hit that subscribe button. Okay. Hit that subscribe button right now because there are so many more videos to come from private label hair care co in regards to starting your beauty brand, especially with our products. We appreciate you guys for watching. See you on the business side.